Twas the night before Christmas when all fruity hills. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The, children's, the children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mommy in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. But when out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash to open the shutters and to up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With the little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, and come it on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up on the housetop, the coursers they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then on the drink and then I heard on the roof, the planting and pulling of each with a hoop. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney sand, Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and all of his clothes were tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had slung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye, a twist of his head, soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying a finger aside of his nose. A gilded nod up to tell me he was. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night.